My top 10 favorite mystery movies of all time. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little list on my top 10 favorite mysteries of all time. And for some reason, I love a good mystery. I love a good twist. Someone actually came on my channel and said, there's actually not that many good mystery movies out there or they're kind of rare. I was kind of thinking, oh, that's not true. But then I'm kind of considering more twists as far as a straight up mystery, there isn't that many that are just like almost perfect 10 out of 10. So I went through all my favorite movies of all time. I've actually found 10 really, really good choices. I feel good about all these movies. Seven through one, I almost could put them in any order because they're all really, really good to me in their own ways. So without further ado, let's jump into number 10 and that is The Fugitive. Now I actually just watched this one recently. This movie is tossed around with a lot of other movies like Clear and Present Danger, Patriot Games, but this movie just absolutely blew me away. I hadn't watched too many 90s Harrison Ford movies and after I watched this movie I watched all of them. None of them were even close to how good Fugitive was. I absolutely do love it and it does have a mystery aspect. Basically a guy's getting screwed and by the end there's actually something that's really outside the box and I really appreciated this ending. It's got a very good twist. Same with Tommy Lee Jones. Love this movie The Fugitive in number 10. All right guys, number nine, What Lies Beneath. Now I just watched this one recently. It's an interesting movie. It almost feels like it's supposed to be a horror movie. In some aspects, it feels more high quality, more like a typical movie because Harrison Ford is in here. And there is kind of a mystery. You don't really know what's going on. And by the end, it really does evolve pretty nicely. And very few people talk about this. I really enjoyed it. And I do think it's a very solid once watch. All right guys, number eight is Inside Man. Now this is the only one that I've seen a long, long time ago so I do want to rewatch this one just to make sure it is that good but this is kind of like a mystery about a bank robbery you have Clive Owen he's running the show and you have Denzel Washington he's kind of like the heist coordinator and Clive Owen is basically taking over this bank they're doing a bunch of weird stuff in the bank I think from what I remember he's telling everybody I'm basically just gonna get away with this watch me they have a very practical ending to everything that you see happen within the bank simple but everything makes sense. It's like based on everything that you showed me, I guess you were doing that the whole time. So I do think this was a very, very good heist mystery type movie, Inside Man, number eight. So number seven is The Usual Suspects. Now I absolutely love this movie. And if you're somebody who has seen the first scary movie, unfortunately this movie is completely ruined for you because they parody the ending of The Usual Suspects at the end of Scary Movie. So this movie is notorious or famous for its ending. It's got a great twist ending, it's fantastic. You might say that this isn't really a mystery, but in my, in my case it is. It opens up with this mysterious man, Kaiser Sose. The more you get through the movie, you almost think, is he a myth, is he real, things like that. But I gotta say, by the ending, by the twist, you know, I do think it is set up like a mystery and there is enough at the end to classify this as a mystery. Um, people say it's a crime and thriller when I looked it up, but to me it's a mystery on top of having a really good twist. I mean, the opening scene is of the mysterious man. So that's I me, mean, that's all I'm gonna say. Fantastic movie. People say that besides the ending, the beginning of this movie and the middle of this movie is a little bit slow and bland. Now, when I did watch it years ago, I did pick up a little bit on that, right? It being a little slow and bland, but I watched it with my friend like a year or two ago, and I was super interested to the whole beginning and middle of this story. I thought it was very interesting. Number seven, Usual Suspects. All right, guys, number six is Brick. Now, I think I watched this like a year or two ago, but Brick was one of those movies that I was kind of mesmerized for like a week or two after I watched it. It's a indie mystery movie with Joseph Gordon Levitt. It was actually shot in Southern California, so maybe I liked it a little bit for that as well. But it's very indie, it's very low budget. It has so much heart to it, it has so much unique shots. I just absolutely love this movie. If I was gonna say any issues that I have with this movie is that I wish the ending was a little bit more dramatic and intense for me personally, but it was good enough of an ending to where I'm satisfied. Number six is Brick. All right guys, number five, and this one is Searching. Now this is unfortunate that this movie is just gonna age really, really quick. It's one of those movies that takes place entirely on a computer screen. So you're looking at a computer from maybe 2016, and although you know, you're probably looking at the best computer from 2016, I rewatched it with a friend of mine a year or two ago and it already looks dated because 
you know, you're looking at an old computer. So, I mean, unfortunately, this is only gonna look more dated with time, but it was very, very, very engaging. It kept me guessing, it kept me thinking like a bunch of things were going on. You know, once you find exactly what happens at the end, it was nice that they did leave you clues that if you were really paying attention, you would have figured things out. And I just think this is, I mean, one of the best mystery movies and it's a PG-13, so anybody could watch it. I've recommended this to a friend of mine who's extremely picky and he recently told me, yeah, that was a good movie. I love searching number five. Number four is Vertigo. Now, I just recently saw Vertigo. You know, I'd always heard about these old Hitchcock movies and I think I was probably the most blown away by Vertigo. Maybe it's because I had no expectations, but it's essentially the original Disturbia. If you've ever seen Disturbia, I think it's like a professional photographer hurts his leg. He's on like the last week or so of like his leg healing. So he's just going stir crazy in his house. He can't go anywhere because his you know legs healing he routinely checks out all of his neighbors right and eventually he sees clues to what looks like a murder he has people coming over like his girlfriend and his maid and he slowly he starts to describe what he's seeing to them and it's not really that much of a twist it's just a really well done movie that moves at a good pace it doesn't do too much out of the box because this is like the original mystery almost but wow did i like this movie and they have it in 4k too i watched it in 4k so sometimes when a movie is real slow I'll kind of want to keep a movie with a lot of attention for like the younger kinds of crowds or for my friends but I would not mind watching this movie again I loved it for a mystery number four vertigo all right guys number three is scream now scream is a fantastic murder mystery and it's pretty much all the screams are I would say maybe in uh, scream 2 and maybe even 4 you have some really 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 out of the box well thought out killers I do think that the murder mystery mystery aspect of Scream never disappoints. It's always at least somewhat difficult to guess who the killer is, but this is like the original 90s kind of horror comedy slasher. I don't think it's too funny, but I just love a good mystery. All the Screams are good mystery movies. If you like Scream and you can handle these movies, I recommend you watch them all because I love them. Okay guys, number two is Identity. Now Identity, I just rewatched this movie and for a outside the box, really intense murder mystery type movie it's hard for me to come across one that I like more than this it's dark it's gritty it's got very good acting nobody's really talked about it too like for me the more popular a movie is the more I for some reason dislike it so the fact that nobody knows about this movie, it's so good. It has no flaws. I mean, it's got a murder mystery twist, but it's got another twist in there. It's got absolutely no fat on it. It's 90 minutes. I have really nothing bad to say about this movie. It's near perfect as far as a murder mystery. And I really almost can't think of anything better except for my number one, but my number one is much more cliche. So number two, Identity. I totally recommend you watch it. All right, guys, number one, the most cliche movie on this list, and that is Seven. Now. I absolutely freaking love Seven so, so much, but technically it is a murder mystery. It is a mystery through and through. I mean, everyone knows the story of Seven, but you got an old cop and Morgan Freeman about to leave the department. You have Brad Pitt coming in. They discover that a, a killer's killing in the seven deadly sins, right? So Morgan Freeman's like, he's either gonna complete his seven deadly sins or we're gonna catch him. One of the two is gonna happen and I'll just retire after that point. It's just an amazing journey as you get through each one of these sins and the ending is so out of the box and so crazy and just what's in the box. I could not put this not as number one because it's just one of my favorite movies of all time. On top of it being just a crazy twist, it technically is a mystery. I thought I had went through every single murder mystery list that I could possibly find and saw every murder mystery that even remotely seemed good to me. And after doing this list, I came across like 10 movies that are like straight up classic mysteries that I've never seen that I'm like, well, how can I make a list without even trying this? So maybe in the future, maybe a year or two from now, I will reshoot this. And let me know what your favorite mysteries are down below. I have seen a couple popular ones that just weren't my vibe, like the Polar Express and a couple other ones just weren't my vibe. But uh, feel free to leave me any other movie suggestions down below. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you on the next video. Peace.